Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a little bit of a trick that you can do with some of the more extreme things within the contrast blend mode range, which is the ones down here, this overlay downwards. We're going to illustrate this first on a simple gradient. So if I hit Control J, I'm going to duplicate it. And then if I go down here and look at these, what's going to actually happening here so I go to Overlay, and you can see immediately it's pulled in the side here. So the black pulls in here and the white pulls in here. If I go down to Soft Light, it backs off a bit. Hard Light is going to be the same as Overlay because the top and bottom layer are the same. But when I get to Vivid Light, look at what's happened here. So I just leave up there. It's gone here. This is all black. This is all white. And you've got this range in the middle. And it's kind of like mostly grey there. So if I go to Linear Light, it got the same sort of banding effect, but now it's perhaps a bit more linear going across there. So the question is, what can we do with this? Well, one of the things you can actually do, if I leave that on Linear Light for a moment, is go to the Blend Ranges and watch what happens here, because I'm going to pull down the left and the right on this here. So in other words, this is at the, this is transparent, this is opaque from dark to light. And so we're literally seeing right through the top layer and just seeing the bottom layer, so there's no effect. Let's uncheck the linear and start what happens when I start pulling up the middle. And look at what's happening here. See, it's bringing up that middle band, unsurprisingly perhaps. And now I can bring up the top left band and see I can, because here I've got around here, there's a bit of a, a, change in it but you can bring that up there to compensate for that and bring up the white here or even just go you know more extreme there so by playing with these three points here you can have quite an interesting effect so let's try that on a real picture so take the picture control j to duplicate it go from here down to let's put it on vivid light and you can see there's a really strong contrast here, probably way too much. And then go to the blend ranges from the top layers, the cogwheel. Click on that one here. Bring this out the way. Bring down the left and the right on the left hand graph. Uncheck the linear. And just drag up the middle. And you're getting a far more acceptable contrast here. But then you can play around and going, well, actually, if I want more darks in here. I just bring up the darks on this side. And if I want more light, I bring up the lights on this side. So if you like look in this area here, you can see as I bring that up, those lights getting lighter. So you can literally play around with the contrast in a kind of interesting way with these. And you can also, of course, say switch to the linear light. Now that's, you know, that's what's that going to be like. Actually, it's not much different, is it? You can even go back and say, what's it like with the things like overlay? So you can use this to play with overlay. It's not quite so, so strong. Usually vivid light I find as good as any. And well, there you go. There's another tool for your toolbox. Very, very simple to do. And a way to use the strength of contrasts available in those stronger contrast blend modes to really pull out the contrast in your picture. And thank you very much for watching.